beginning of the challenge. I'm actually gonna stop myself here. I had a whole like five minute intro in this first video about how all the rules I was doing worked and I honestly completely cocked up the under my, my understanding of all of the rules was flawed from the ground up. Fortunately, it doesn't come into effect. Any of the rules I misunderstood didn't come into effect during, and still haven't come into effect, in fact, in my run yet. Uh, mostly it's related to the notepad clause. I had some very bad misconceptions of the wording on the notepad clause initially. And after looking it up, I realized that I had horrendously misinterpreted the notepad clause. So for your benefit, here's the rules real quick. This is what I'm doing. Obviously I'm doing the jail lock, Perl version, standard Nuzlocke rules apply, jail lock rules apply. They have to, that's part of the challenge. Chose my starter with my trainer card. Um, and for those of you who don't know what the jail, with the uh, jail lock clause, or the jail lock rules, whenever I catch a Pokemon, I have to roll a D6. If I get a one or a two, that Pokemon goes to jail. Now I'm using some other optional rules. First of all, I'm using a no dupes clause, which me and I'm using the variant of the no dupes clause that is, if, a, if I see a dupe, of a Pokemon I've already caught on another route, I lose my catch for that route. It's not only that I can't catch that dupe, I lose the catch completely. I can't catch anything on that route. So um, in my run currently, because I've recorded a few episodes ahead of this one, I have a Zubat, caught it before I even got into any of the caves. So if I go into a cave now and I see a Zubat, I'm fucked. I lose that, I lose that catch for that cave. I, I don't get to catch anything in there. If, I, if, the first thing I th if the first thing I see is a Zubat. So I just wanted to like kind of quick smooth over all this. Uh, I don't want this to take nearly as long as my original kind of rules intro did anyway. So that's the main rule or that's the main rule in regards to captures. I'm using the notepad, notepad clause, which means that once I have six Pokemon in my party, they are locked in there. They do not get removed unless one of them dies. If it dies, then I can fill its slot. But if if I have six Pokemon in my party, those are who that's my party. That's what I'm stuck with. So it's just, essentially the first six first five Pokemon I catch that don't get jailed, that's how it works. I can't use the PC at all. The PC is a no-go. Which means that if any of my Pokemon get jailed, they're dead. They are just dead. I, I don't get them back when Normally with the jail lock, if you, once you beat the gym leader, you get to choose one of your jailed Pokemon and then kill the rest. But in this case, I don't get, I, all my jailed Pokemon are just auto dead, which really sucks. As you'll see, uh, I think it's in this video. It might be in the next one. The first Pokemon I catch gets jailed. But those are the rules. Um, if that's not clear enough, uh, I'm going to put the rules in the description. Uh... I'm trying to do this for maximum pointage, obviously, and also for maximum challenge. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get back to me playing Pearl version. No info needed. I've done this before. Oh my god, you're kidding me. have to change the text speed on this game. Ugh, all right. Yeah, boy. As per tradition. Oh boy.
because he is. Yes, he is Spaz. The time has come. Maybe even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. I shall. Ah! Sorry, shrinking scares me. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. More news at 11. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Oh my gosh! Forgot all the buttons here. There we go. Fast. I'd like to see what my training card is because I'm selecting my Pokemon based on that. Six. So I get a fire type, which would mean Chimchar. Yes, I'm aware. Madre! Yes, I'm aware. He's that type of person. Alright, let's go a wandering. Uh-huh. And whose fault is that, mother? Alright. I will say... I find the scenario of you getting a Pokemon in this game far more plausible. Whoops, I forgot. I gotta talk to Spaz. Oi, you... You great yellow-haired poof. Ah! You clumsy oof! Watch where you're going, you spastic weirdo! Uh, I don't have that much money, and you know this. Uh-huh. If I'm late. What a doof. Oi, mate. You great spaz. Dude! You know I don't have that much cash on me, yet. Potentially, I might. All right. Uh, oh fuck. This, the controls are so sticky on this thing for some reason. Whatever. There's a little bit of screen tearing. Yes, yes. Oh no. Thinking is bad for you, Spaz. It's also bad for me because I get dragged into your shit. And of course I have to take point on this operation. Very well. Follow me, Chum Lim. Who? Why are you giving orders? You're the one who made me take point here. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Professor Rowan. Yes, of course, good sir. Hey, I'll be seeing you later, sweet cheeks. Oh, see, now you're taking point. Ambush! It's a trap! The Starlies are rebelling! Quickly! To arms! Round one! Battle start!
Or in the immortal terms of Gunman Build Fighters. Hurry, set your GP base! I haven't thought of a nickname, Steve. I told you we'd meet again, sweet cheeks. He's on the game! Why do I have to be mad? Alright, bruh. Let's roll. Alright, Kato. Oi, ye! I think we'll go with action stars. Back to the lab. Later, sweet cheeks. See, she got it. I will say this. the mo Your mother in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum version, she's got it. She gives you those running shoes straight a friggin' way. Like, all the other versions that have running shoes with the exception of X and Y, they hold out on those running shoes forever, and it's the most annoying thing. But this mom, she's like, you know what? You need running shoes. Because, son, you gotta run. And you know what? She's right. I do. Because walking is slow and annoying and tedious. No, I don't need the instructions though. No, no, I, I... Oh my gosh. Whatever. I have running shoes now. I can has run. We don't have Pokeballs yet, so I, I, I won't say that the encounters count until I can actually start catching Pokemon. I don't know how everyone else handles that, but that's what I'm going to say here. Uh -huh. Scratch. Uh, there's a reason I call him Spaz, and you should too. Everyone should call him that, because that is his essence. The Adventures of Booster and Spaz. Alright. We're gonna name him... Statham. Oh, 
I think that's how it's spelled. If I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me. We can always use the name changer to do to re-spell it later. Wait, you'd have to what? Kill me? Dawn's cold as ice. She'd snap my neck if I was a bad Pokemon trainer. That's good to know. <laughs> Wait, what did I say yes to? I was on autopilot again. I do this all the time. I'm just like... begins now. Teach me how to catch. Wonder who that could be. Don't worry, I'll take good care of your daughter. That sounded way creepier than I intended it to. My apologies. Oh, man. Yes. Teach me, senpai. Uh-huh. This is always the part that bugged me. Like, come on, I had a phone in, at least I had a phone in gold and silver version. And there's the cross transceiver in black and white version. And there's the hollow transceiver in X and Y. And yet they still make you run all the way back home to be like, yo, madre. I'm off on a grand adventure. A conquest, you might say. Eh. Yatta! Oh man. Ah! Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Spaz being himself. Oh man, I could just tell from the like the text, the type of tone. She's like, "Won't you?" Yeah. Yes, he would ha head for the place with the shiniest lights in the area. That does sound like him. He's like a fucking seagull in that way. Oh, an encounter right away. It's unfortunate that I don't have Pokeballs yet, and thus... You don't count. Stay them! Show them the power of your namesake. Show them the power of England might. I'm sorry for any egregiously bad accents that I do. It's habit.
At least you can run inside of buildings in this game. Oh, I can buy Pokeballs now. I'm officially out of cash. I'm broke. Let's go back to that route and catch something. Alright, female Starly. Take a flying type as my first member of my team. Staraptor is a boss, and I just. Oh man. Really? Well, there goes my capture for this route. I have the worst luck when I'm recording Nuzlocks. I want you all to know this. I don't know when this is gonna get posted in relation to my Theta Emerald videos. So, oh, no. Teach me how to catch Senpai. I want you to see. I care not. Three hours later. Later. Must be loaded that many Pokeballs. Come on. Bravo! Bravissimo! Truly, you are a Pokemon master! I cannot compare to your Pokemon catching skills. Truly, I can't. Oh, thank you. It's not like I already bought eight of them. All right, let's see what we got this time. <gasps> Our luck's turning, boys! I love Shinx. Alright, come on now. Alright. It's capture time! Feels so good! Shinx is so amazing. Getting electric type this quick is gnarly. Uh mm. uh 
female action stars. Actually, let me take a look here. What have we got? Yeah, there we go. I think with that, we will end the recording for this kind of update episode thing. And so, you know, here's what I've done so far for the league. Uh, I've caught a Shanks and botched an attempted capture of a Starly. 